Story 66 of The Sun's Babies by Edith Howes. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chickapick Chickapick lived in a round white house with shining walls. All about him was white soft food. He floated at the end of a ball of yellow food. He himself was only a speck. Have you found out yet that his house was an egg? He grew bigger, for Hen Mother sat over him day and night, cuddling him under her warm breast. Every day she turned his egg house over so that he should grow evenly. Each time she did that he floated from the bottom of the egg house to the top, to be near the warm Hen Mother. This kept him moving and made him grow strong. As he grew he used up the white food and the yellow food, till by and by there was no food left in the house but only Chickapick. Have you found out yet that Chickapick was a chicken? One day he wished to come out. He tapped on the inside wall. Peck hard, called his mother. I will help you from the outside. Chickapick pecked hard with his little new beak. Hen mother pecked softly with her big strong beak, and presently a hole was made. Out popped Chickapick's head. Cheep, he said. "'Well done, little son,' said his mother. "'Now push with your shoulders and break the shell.' He pushed and pushed with his little new shoulders, till crack went the shell in halves. Out he stepped. "'Have you found out yet that Chickapick was strong?' "'You are the first. Cuddle under my wings till your brothers and sisters come out,' said the hen mother. "'Cheep, cheep, cheep,' went the brothers and sisters one after the other." Chickapick listened and watched from his snug corner. "'Now we are all here,' said the hen-mother at last. "'Cluck, cluck, cluck! What a fine brood you are, yellow and black and white and all covered with the softest, prettiest down I ever saw. How dainty your toes are! How bright your eyes!' She led them out for a little walk. "'Cluck, cluck, cluck!' she said. "'See, here is soft food spread for you.' Cluck, cluck, you may have it all. I shall not eat till you are satisfied. I could not bear my chickens to go hungry. Cluck, cluck, eat plenty, eat plenty. Have you found out yet how kind Hen Mother was? End of story 66